the leaves are changing, guys. It's time for new gear loadout. Stick around. Today we're gonna go through my pack and let's get some gear out. Let's keep it short and sweet, not a lot of explanation. Starting off, I carry the HMG Hyperlite Mountain Gear Junction 3400 because I like the Dyneema side pockets that don't snag when I'm bushwhacking and I like the mesh pocket. If I have any wet gear, I can keep it on the outside of my pack. Other reasons I chose this pack were for the big side pockets, the accessories from Hyperlite Mountain Gear. First, let's start on the outside of the pack. I'm gonna grab this, the Thermrest Z seat, so I can put my knees down because the grass is wet. In this pocket, I keep a rain jacket. It's a no-name rain jacket that I had from when I was serving. I did a service trip to Southern Mexico. I wore this while I was there, it's no name. I keep my poop kit, some wipes, toilet paper, and a trowel. This is my first aid kit. I've got some stuff for blisters, I've got band-aids. I also keep my tent stakes for my tent. On this side pocket, I keep a water bottle, life water or smart water with the Sawyer filter. Oh, my headlamp's in here too. I carry the Nikkor NU25 headlamp, super ultra light, super great, rechargeable. On this side, I keep my tent poles for my tent and nothing else. In my hip pockets, I keep snacks in this one. I keep personal hygiene stuff like sunscreen, deodorant, and hand sanitizer, soap, whatever, just hygiene stuff in this one. Then I usually keep my phone in here and then I also have my Garmin InReach Mini. Now let's get into the inside of my pack. What I like about this pack is it's a roll top closure system and I got the 3400 so that I've got all this extra room in case I have extra food. If I'm in a place that I need a bear canister, I've got that extra room. First off, I keep my shelter right on top. This is the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL3. This is a tent that I picked up on clearance. And I got the three because I've got some kiddos that as they start getting older, I'm gonna start taking them with me. And I needed a three person tent for that because I've got two kiddos. Along my back panel, I've got a piece of Tyvek, which is a ground sheet for my tent. Okay, next, I choose to use the um, Hyper Light Pod system. So I have all my stuff in these Dyneema stuff sacks, which is a little bit overkill, but I just like the organization. This is my food bag. This is the large from Hyperlight Mountain Gear. And in here, I'll keep different treats, different snacks. I'll keep mountain house meals, and I'll keep my cook system and my titanium spoon. I have the MSR kettle. Um, I honestly don't even remember what size it is. It's the smaller of the two, um, and it fits all my gear perfectly. I use the MSR micro rocket or pocket rocket, one of the two I've had it for eight years, I've had it for a long time, it's never failed, and it's been a really good piece of gear for me. And because I trust the MSR stove, that's why I went with a titanium pot from MSR, and then I also have the, just a canister of fuel. Um, and then I keep a mini Bic in here with a piece of tin foil for a makeshift windscreen if I needed one, or if I'm fishing and I catch some fish, I can cook the fish in the fire in this. I just bring it because there's a lot of uses for it. Pro tip, I would put something in the bottom or keep these rubber caps that come on here and put your can stored on the rubber. If you leave the metal ring on there, sometimes you'll still have a little bit of water and you'll start getting rust rings in there. So if you turn it over, you won't get rust rings. Something I wanted to mention also is this company that's a local company here in Utah called Peak Refuel. They make some of the best backpacking mills I have ever had in my life. And the bonus is all of them require less water like half the water what a mountain house meal does. So check out Peak Refuel if you haven't yet. Down the side of my pack, I keep my glorious Helinox Chair Zero. I will always backpack with a chair, no matter what, and nobody can convince me yet otherwise. Next in my pack is another pod from Hyperlite. This is where I keep my clothes and my sleeping pad. Um, ask me why I keep my sleeping pad in here? I have no idea. Um, I have the Nemo Tensor regular wide pad, insulated. Um, can't say enough. There'll be a different review video for this, so don't worry about going over this. 
Um, I keep a buff in here. Um, typically I'll wear this. A buff is just a tube of fabric, which I'm sure we're all much more familiar with now because of coronavirus. Wear it around your neck. You can pull it up over as a mask if you're going out to the store. Um, you can keep you warm. You can pull it up over your head. It just has a lot of different uses. My clothing system, I usually go with some sort of base layer, um, like a t-shirt, long sleeve or short sleeve. And then I have some sort of mid-weight layer that is this Wilderness Technology, which is just a local company here in Utah. Um, just like a, a quarter zip. These are buttons, but like a quarter zip, some, a pair of shorts. And I usually keep it like an extra pair of socks with me. And that's pretty much it. And the socks are just for sleeping because I always hike in Chacos. Something else that I have wrapped up inside my pad that I had to unwrap and get out was my Trekology pillow. Um, I have ordered the Hyperlite Mountain Gear stuff sack pillow, and that should be here soon. So look for a review on that. But for now, I've got the Trekology pillow. Okay, this fell to the bottom. This is my ditty bag. Inside my ditty bag, I have a, pa a battery bank. I've got um, these tablets for a backup source of water filtration. I have, oh, you guys will like these. I have teeny tiny card games, the world's smallest Uno. The cards are literally like an inch big. <laughs> and some extra cordage, an iPhone cord, charger for my headlamp. Um, this is a, these are just little stuff sacks from HMG. Um, this is my repair kit. I've got like Dyneema patches, some seam sealer, and then I keep my, my gigantic hunting knife in there too. <laughs> Just a ditty bag full of my random little ditties. And the last item in the bottom of my pack is my sleeping quilt. I have the UGQ Outdoors sleeping quilt 20 degree 25 ounces i've got a separate video reviewing that so i won't bother going over all the specs right now all right guys my pack is empty and all my gears out thank you so much for watching this video today um, if you found any value of it please smash the like button please subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one and we'll see you on the next one